Hello to my Taurus. All right, Taurus, the moon is in Libra. Let's get into it. Let's get into your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Hopefully you all are having a relatively stress-free weekend. This reading is for... This reading is for the 16th of June through the 22nd of June. Taurus, let's get it. Let's see what's this week, what's this upcoming week looks like for you. All right, as you're moving into more balanced out relationship within yourself. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. First card out of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. Here we also have the Magician card. Here we have the Strength card, the Hierophant card, the Devil card, and then also the Empress card. So a lot of information is coming to you. Here we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Magician card. Here we also have the Hierophant card. Here we also have the Strength card. <clears throat> Here we also have um, the Devil card. And then also the Empress card, right? So a lot of emotional wounding, you know. And so when we talk about emotional wounding, two types of energies, you know, that could have worked together to help, like, uh, pour into you. Like maybe mom's side of the family, dad's side of the family could have worked together. Looking at the cards here. Because this right here, uh, Pentacles energy, connects us with the root chakra, which is developed between the ages of zero and seven. When somebody's like starting to get messages, you know, we're talking about right here through this womb right here, both sides of the family. People could have been like, you know, like, you know, could have been stronger together. But see, the devil right here, the devil card actually just kind of like creates a whole bunch of chaos and conf the author of confusion keeps a whole bunch of chaos and confusion and could have caused you a lot of emotional wounding and constantly feeling left out. That could have started something for somebody constantly feeling like they left out, but it could have translated into feeling left out and wanting to be a people pleaser later on. So that could have cracked the code for somebody right there. But now somebody is learning something totally different. Let's see what you're learning now. So Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. Let's see what's going to get you in your vault door. So <clears throat> Chiron goes to the depth of the emotional wound, the first emotional wounds, right? So messages are coming through now. This is how you're going to take your power back. This is a magician card. The magician card um, is the initiator, the creator, the logical you know, stuff is starting to make sense to you now. Stuff is starting to make sense. Um, starting to really, really make sense. Um, and just how it can create limited, like a crab in a barrel mentality. Like all it takes is for somebody like to pass down that crab in a, uh, excuse me, crab in a barrel mentality from mom's side of the family or dad's side of the family to just throw everything out of alignment, you know, for, for everybody. Um, and so, but, but source is saying to you, um, something has caused some kind of emotional wounding, um, for you. Here's a devil card here and the devil could have been in the devil right here. Could, like I said, everybody has, this would be considered as like the carnal mind, like the flesh could have caused people to just like their demons to just kind of flare out. And just create a whole bunch of confusion for you. There's the five here. Could have caused us a bunch of sadness. Wanting to be approved and be accepted. You know, just could have caused a lot of lamenting. Um, here we have the queen of wands here. And so things are going to start looking sunnier for somebody. Here we have the um, seven of cups here. You know, now somebody's going to start saying... It feels like somebody is starting to make some sense. Like somebody is starting to help you to like inspire and motivate you to start making you make some sense. This is how you're using, this is the key that's going to open your vault door. Um, somebody is saying to you, just what I'm explaining in your cards here, that if both sides of your family, and again, take only what resonates with you. If both sides of your family had come together and invested in you, if everybody had put their demons or I mean, demons would be fear, chaos, confusion, frustrations, whatever to the side. And everybody had come together and really just kind of invested in somebody. Somebody would have felt like they were left out in the cold and just kind of sort of left to all of this temptations all around them, like looking for something outside of themselves. Right. That's what the seven of cups is. 
So this energy, Queen of Wands, comes in to kind of sort of inspires, motivates. So somebody came in to kind of sort of motivate somebody to, hey, look, okay, now it's time to complete. This is this number seven. Something is now complete, right? So somebody has some kind of an awakening happening in their lives. The awakening could have come in several different forms. You could have experienced a, a situation because snake energy is kundalini experience. So Kundalini is like sitting at the base of a spine where there was some kind of an awakening that, wow, I didn't realize I was sitting in front of a vault door all this time and didn't know that I held the key to my own vault door, meaning a portal, right? To my own vault door. I've been wanting to belong to something so long that once I get there, I realize it wasn't what I thought it was, right? That's one. Another thing is like when a snake... Usually you see a snake on the seven of cups. A snake, when it outgrows its skin, it leaves that skin behind. But the scales also falls from its eyes. Like, okay, I thought this is what I wanted, but I guess it's not what I want. And so now I'm seeing things through a different lens and I'm moving on. So like <clears throat> lay terms, it would kind of be like a person that says, you know, I thought I wanted to be a part of something. But I don't want to be a part of that anymore. Like I thought I really wanted to be a part of. Um, I thought I really wanted to be a part of. Um, like. What would be connected to money. I want to work. I wanted to work for this company so bad. Like I really want to work for this company. I've been hearing so many great things about this company. I go through the interviewing process. And, and I go through. You know background this and that and so on and so forth i get the job go through the probationary period as i'm going through the probationary period i'm realizing this isn't what i want at all you know what's coming to mind for me is like the movie the firm right for those of you all who watch the movie the firm the guy he went through a series of interviews and he got the job and then realized oh my god this whole company is being under review like what the heck right and so that's what somebody is starting to realize is like if more is at, at this right here, this level right here. If something was like, if people could have put their, you know, like recognize that everybody has demons, like everybody has, like if we operate fear, doubt, uncertainty, if everybody had come together and recognized in all humility that everybody is operating in the flesh <laughs> and, and, and could have invested, speaking of money, invested knowledge, wealth, into this person right here then this wouldn't be so inviting trying to find out what's out there wouldn't have been so inviting for somebody so not sure who that was for but that's what i'm seeing in the cards here somebody had to bring it all into focus what's my like inspire and motivate somebody let's see how what else happens in the car so now you're headed harder not at war with each other so now something is bringing things into focus now you're like okay now um, it's, it's clear here. We have the eight of swords. Now, you know, you're not going crazy. Now, you not you feel like you, you don't feel like you need to be in a straight jacket. So something is closing out your fears. Something is like, okay, I feel like I was going crazy at first. Right? So now this is world card. Now somebody's learning how to create very firm boundaries, you know, learning how to create very firm boundaries and learning how to, to enforce those boundaries, which is really, really good. But here's the cool thing about this. <clears throat> the cool thing about this is not only is your head and heart not at war with each other about just like why you've been sitting at that vault door wanting so bad to be a part of something and you get there and you're like, ah, not nah, don't want to be a part of that. Don't want to be a part of that world or what's behind that somebody else's vault door because it's not what I thought of. What I th I, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um... I'm starting to see I have my own key to my own vault door. I have a key to my own vault door. Right here we have the Ten of Cups. And this is what I want for my vault door. I want divine connections in my vault door. I want to feel protected. I want to feel safe and loved. I want kids. Like somebody says they want kids. They want a spouse or partner. They want to be places where they can like see this person like running, running the grass. You know, like kind of live maybe outside of the... um race outside like the city limits or something like that i don't know who that's for but somebody is saying like you you want a calmer life you know like somebody says they want to kind of settle down they just want a calmer like they thought they wanted to be a part of the 
nightlight, the scene, the this and that, but they realize it's something that's not what it is. It's somebody's not what they thought it was going to be. And so somebody had to, um, somebody had to like enlighten you about some things. Yeah. So every now and then the doubts and fears come up. That's what the, um, this is the bait and switch. Every now and then the doubt and fears come up in your spirit. The chaos and confusion comes up in somebody's spirit, but then you, you quickly look back and go, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Is the nine of wands. That's when you look back and you go, yeah, I thought that's what I wanted, but I, I kind of want a calmer life. Yeah, it's not, not what I thought it was. Devil card. Because somebody has seen too much evil. Somebody's seen too much evil and what pe too many temptations that could, you know, that could take people on a trip for the rest of their lives. I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but this reading is very interesting looking at these cards. Yeah, could have kept you outside of your vault door for a long time. Kept, I kept chasing something. Here we have the two of wands here. Yeah, so um, you and somebody, like I said before, are, you know, there's ways to, there's ways to create a life that you want and like move closer towards divine connections. You know, where y'all sit back and talk about, you know, the past, you and your person coming together, sit back and talk about the past and like exchange stories and stuff like that. But you just got to also deal, make sure your ego is not involved. Like listening to people saying, oh, you know, you didn't make it. You couldn't make it. You couldn't make it in this and couldn't make it in that. The good thing is you have social media. So the good part about social media is that people who seem like they made it in certain industries, and I'm not even just talking about entertainment here. It could be in any industry, government. It could be textile industries. It could be... Uh, uh, sports industry because people are doing interviews and they're telling people is certain things are not what people think it is behind the scenes. That's where people are starting to say, oh, wow, I had no idea. Source was protecting you from certain things, right? Source was protecting you from certain things. I thought I wanted to be a part of something. This right here, I thought I wanted to be a part of something, but I, best so I guess the creator had different plans for me. So I'm so grateful that I was protected, you know, from certain things. But I thought I was going crazy. That's what this person right here. I thought I need to belong in a straight jacket. Nope, not at all. Here we have the Empress card. Yeah. So when you're around, um, when you are around energies that are, um, <clears throat> when you're around energies that have a looking at the cards here that have a. Um, uh, a scarcity mindset, a crab in a barrel mentality, and everything seems like it's crazy. You got a lot of, you got a lot of, looking at here, you got a lot of, it's a lot of layers to this. There are the people who think that there's a whole bunch of fun going on behind this vault door. These could be loved ones who think a bunch of fun is going on. Your life is so glamorous and so much fun. They don't even know what it took for you to get behind the vault door. They don't know what you have to deal with on a regular basis. They don't know the attacks that come up against you, Taurus. And, and th those are the ones that's attacking you too. Oh, look at Taurus. They don't have a, they don't have a lot of time to talk to us. They, they think they better than so on and so forth. They have no idea setting and praying for you. Some of them are so lost. They still praying on you. They have no idea what's coming up against you because they assume something, right? So source is saying to you, be grateful for the ones that's praying. That's they standing, standing right here, standing firm. They standing right there firm. They already know. They're praying for you. And that's what Source is trying to tell you, that you're not trying to go back. So something started with the Queen of Wands. Somebody's saying, hold on, adjust your crown. I already know. I already walked that same journey you walked. Yeah, a lot of temptations around you. There's a whole lot of temptations, you know, around you. But it's time to cut ties with the scarcity mindset, people. Disappointing, but at least... You you can you feel the pain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can feel it. You're like, okay, I'm disappointed, but at least I still got feeling in my heart, right? I can feel it. I'm moving on. Yeah. So here we had the ten of swords here. So now somebody's saying, okay, I can either choose to lie down here or I can get up and thrive. That's what somebody's saying. Okay, so let's see what that looks like, right? Yeah. So somebody's giving you some water. Somebody's saying, here's some water. They're passing the baton, and that's where you're gonna get up and thrive. That's when you're going to get up and thrive. And that's when you're going to tap into your inner strength, right? So you're learning how, just like to everybody else, is learning how to tap into their inner strength as well. Learning how to tap into their inner strength as well.
yeah, learning how to tap into their inner strength as well. So that's what I'm seeing here is like, it's, it's, um, you, you, you see the devil card came out three times here. Um, somebody has saw access to some things that they just thought, wow. And see, that is why for some people, so many people stick together, like protect each other. Like if you, you can come from somebody, look, somebody, somebody could come from a really big family. Cause that's what we talk about all this water here. You got a lot of water. You can come from a really big family, but it's a bunch of chaos and confusion going on in the family. You can feel like you by yourself sitting in front of a vault door by yourself. Like I got to come from this gigantic family and everybody's going, you know, going at it. And you see some things and you left for prey and people don't even know. They, they don't even realize they just leaving you out there. Just like just pray, right? For people to pray on you. And so source is saying, this is what you crave. You, this is what you've always craved. This is what somebody has always craved. Like to feel protected, to feel like it's, you know, divine connections. And so you definitely have someone here. This queen of wands here is saying, here, here's some more water. Because this is increasing your intuition. Increasing your intuition because you have a lot of opportunities coming in, coming your way. And so what Source is doing here, looking at your cards, Source is actually rerouting your water. So anybody that's left you out of something, Source is saying, you don't have to worry about being left out of anything because water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surround it. So Source is literally saying, I'm going to take your water. And I'm about to not only enlarge your territory, I'm about to reroute it somewhere else. So the very ones that try to leave you out of some stuff, they actually the ones that's left out. They won't have part because they're so busy connecting with just operating in the flesh. I'm going to leave them out. That's what sources say. I'm going to leave them out. So I don't know who that's for. <clears throat> But yeah, so it's just, I'm going to leave them out. I, I'm going I'm to part this. I'm going to separate this. So that you can you can have this with the very thing you've been praying for. So you can have this. So remember, this is going to come up in your spirit every now and then. The bait and switch. They seem like they're having so much fun. And then it's going to remind you when you look back. Oh, no. Nah. Let me keep on moving forward. <laughs> I'm good. I remember. And I ain't going crazy. I remember. Yeah, it was disappointing. It wasn't what I thought it was. It had me laid out like this, depressed, sad. I thought it was what I wanted. Mm -mm, I'm good. I'm good buying, going buying a ticket. This is going to start making sense as to then that's when that's when somebody going to start praying for some other people who may be out there by themselves. Here we have the Ace of Swords here. That's when the breakthrough comes in right there. That's when you're going to have a breakthrough felt like a breakdown at first but it's a breakthrough that's when you're gonna get on your throne and start carefully vetting your thoughts like okay i need to change my way of thinking like what was i thinking here we have the four of pentacles here source is making you financially independent so that's what i said you'll be financially independent so you won't even have to worry about trying to be a part of knocking on somebody else's vault door only to see all of this people too arrogant to recognize that they even have demons here we have the four of cups here you just see a bunch of shape shifting going on. You're like, what the heck? I thought I was going crazy. Nope. So, yeah. So, Source is definitely putting you and somebody around a totally different type of energy. So, as you are, you know, as you all are, are um, you know, moving forward, just thank Source in advance. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Divine, the divine Connections. Divine Connections. Yep. Yep, here we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Building a very rich legacy, you and somebody that other energies will be left out of. So here we have the Eight of Pentacles here. You know, just living a much finer life. You went from, somebody went from being tempted to just kind of like, okay, I need to calm this down. Like, I can't even believe what I'm seeing here. Y'all know what I'm thinking of right now when I look at your cards here, Taurus? The movie The Devil's Advocate. When they, uh, the uh, actress... Um, Charlize Theron, I think I think that's how you pronounce her name. When she first saw the shape shifting of the wise, when she had the the luncheon with the wise, and she couldn't even believe what she saw. She saw the the demons pop, popping out of their back and their chest and stuff, and she's like, "What the heck? Am I seeing what I'm thinking? I'm seeing." And even when she was in, uh, when they put her in a mental institution, and the lady was like, "Don't you want to look at your face? 
Don't you want to look at her face? And she was like, no, no, no. I don't want to see any mirrors. Because she already knew those mirrors. That's why she started taking those mirrors out. She was like, because people, I mean, that's why people, they they say, look, I need to be on something. I need to, because I can't believe what I'm seeing. Like, somebody, please, I need to be on something, right? So that's what, that's what, you know, so when people start saying, oh, they, that person is crazy. They mentally this and that. So it's just saying, yeah, okay. No, I they are highly spiritually gifted. They saw some things, and that's what source is trying to. Um, that's what source is trying to help somebody to, you know, uh, help somebody to see is that you weren't going crazy at all. You saw some stuff. You saw some shifting going on. So, yeah. So now you're living a finer life. So, you know, you may be having a glass of wine in moderation, but you're not having a glass of wine because you're just trying to like you know, block out, you know, like memories of stuff, right? So here we have the lover's card. Um, lover's card, we started out this cycle in uh, Gemini. We started out new moon in Gemini on 6-6. Six, six. The number six is in the shape of a energy that has a rounded back and a protruding belly, right? So like giving birth to something. So it's you and somebody has gone through these things. Like, you know, just like, okay, um, um, and, but it, it, it also symbolizes partnerships, right, in business and or in love. But it also symbolizes decisions. You and somebody, it could be you and a child, you and a parent, you and a sibling, you and somebody have decided, hey, look, we have made a decision to live a softer life. We know we ain't going crazy. We know we are not losing our mind. You know, and so, you know, those doubts and fears still come up. But somebody says, like, look, we don't need to be in a straight jacket. We're we not losing our mind. We're not going crazy. So. Here we have King of Cups. So, yeah. So, somebody's going to feel a lot more emotionally intelligent. Sometimes you just need somebody to just be able to kind of sort of explain it to you in a way that you would understand. Sometimes you just need somebody to explain it to you in a way that you understand that you weren't seeing things. See, we have the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, that you weren't seeing things and to help you to pour back into yourself. Then we have the Two of Cups. Yep, that you were not going crazy. Your wishes are being fulfilled. You and somebody's wishes are being fulfilled. Yeah, so divine connections are coming together. They all coming together. Here we have the Six of Pentacles. Neither one of you all are looking for other people's acceptance and approval. And source is the one that's saying, I'm about to, I'm in, I'm putting, I'm putting it all together for you. Page of pentacles. Y'all are like new money is coming across your path, but the new money is coming across your path as a result of you now investing more in yourselves, like really investing and in pouring more into yourselves, like your creativity. Right? So... It's going to start making sense to somebody that like, you know, when people's loved ones are transitioning and you think, oh, they're they saying, well, they're talking to their, um, they're talking to their loved ones on the other side. You know, they're not going crazy. So, or that, you know, when your, your pets are barking at something in the house and you can't see it and you just like, okay, Rover, uh, what are you barking at? <laughs> Rover's like, you don't see this? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> Woo. So, yeah. So, somebody is definitely more emotionally intelligent, you know, looking at the cards here. So, good deal. Here we have peace. Your peace is paramount. And that's what's in. So, Source is just trying to teach somebody how to move in silence and move in peace. Like, everybody don't need to know what you're about to do. You know, here we have, uh, you, you, have you have the gift of clairsentience. So, things are starting to flow to you, like, you know. But some people are not happy without you, you know, and so you have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. The best is yet to come. Somebody never stopped loving you. So check your request list again. The answers you seek are coming. You want to toss some things into a burning bowl. You want to get some fresh air too. Yep. You inspire a whole lot of people to heal. So you inspire some people to get their, their act together. And so some people was definitely trying to, um, you know, wealth is within your reach. Yeah, wealth is within your reach. But that's what that's what it usually starts with. Something usually starts with some kind of emotional wounding and it takes you down some rabbit hole. You think somebody trying to block your money or like trying to do something, but that somehow that's how source had to get a message through to somebody like some people trying to well, what are these two types of energy trying to mess up my money, trying to block my money. 
And at first you can feel like, okay, this is stressing me out to the end. But so it's like, no, I need you to ask a different kind of question. I, I need you to ask, where did it start? Like, where, why do I think like this? What, what's going then that's what says, okay, now it's opening up. Now you got the key. Now you're getting closer and closer like the game, okay? You know, you're getting warmer, okay? You're getting warmer. You're getting warm. Now you're getting hot. Now you got to the key, right? So that's what I'm seeing here um, in your cards. Um, and so, yeah, the, the moon in Libra is really all about, you know, practicing, receiving, and trusting, and ask for equal exchange, equal and just exchange. Just basically your balance. You're not giving so much to your job that you're neglecting your home life and vice versa, right? So you this this is ball of joy at work because you're getting a nice big paycheck when you get it, you get home. You're just like, you got droplets to give your family, but do you praying for this? You know what I'm saying? So in uh, in that in that regard, you're you're asking for your spouse to pour more into like okay, well I mean I work all day long you don't understand and your spouse is like well I work all day long too or your partner or whoever you don't understand so it's just like it had there has to be a balance right so there has to be a balance within you has to be a balance within them and that's um and the same thing in your other relationships so that's what I'm seeing for you all here are the questions for the moon and um Libra first question is your work bringing more peace justice beauty or harmony to the world and then how could you amplify that second question is what would happen if you spend more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves set third question is do you receive as much as you give or vice versa fourth question is which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space and then last but not least is what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude you are good enough yeah somebody was wondering if they're good enough and so if you if you check your own resume, and I'm talking about your life resume, source kept giving somebody ideas that you were good enough, that you're worthy, that you're not a pick me, that you don't you don't need to belong to this and belong to that. Source kept showing you over and over and over again, but somebody wanted certain type of attention or something from the very energies that were too busy, you know, battling their own demons to even recognize that there was somebody sitting in front of a vault door. Kind of feeling like, okay, can you invest some time in me? Can you pour into me? You know, so here we have, I am protected. Yeah, you are definitely protected. Yep, definitely protected. So, yeah, you figured it out, Taurus. You're good. This is good. Like I said, you got, you and somebody, you come, I feel like source is bringing your whole community together. And you and somebody, I'm bringing that community together, definitely feels uh, safe. Definitely for the what you was craving, you know, people pouring into you, like you're pouring into them. Y'all are talking about ideas. Y'all are emotionally intelligent. This is not this is no toxic uh, bonds where y'all coming together talking about people and just a bunch of invoking nightmares. That's what it. That's really what it is. I mean, talking about people is really just invoking nightmares. That's what it is. Um, here we have. Surrender 41. So uh, there's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. If that ain't the truth, that's the truth for real. Like if it doesn't serve you, hey, you, you're you not with somebody. Why are you still talking about them? Y'all not friends no more. What, what's the, surrender? The, the card came out again. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hard, hardest to stop trying to control the universe. Yep. Your whole community is coming together. And everything that somebody's been praying for since they were between zero and seven is coming together. And it's already been predestined for you and somebody to be very, very wealthy. And so source is saying, but yeah, somebody has just been around so many draining energy vampires, you know, that some people about to start pouring into you and, and they learning everything that you need to pour into you. Like you've been pouring into everybody else. They that's what they're doing. Source and so it's like sources to the rescue. <laughs> sources like, hey, look, I need to send some so it's like, I need to send some different people across your path, Taurus. Like you need some people that's gonna pour into you like you've been pouring into everybody else. <laughs> being around these people will drive you <laughs> cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Like what in the world? Yeah, so yeah. But yeah, so here we have 14. I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you're wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure that time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. 
Yeah. I mean, if we keep it at 100, I mean, sometimes family will... Uh, And only when I'm saying that is because of these cards right here is a whole lot of fam sources like sources sources clearing up a whole lot of family stuff for a lot of people. That's why Pluto is retrograde, and that's why it's driving so many people just like bonkers because Pluto is bringing some things into focus. People having dream, people having dreams and downloads and like what? Woo. People talking, do you remember this? Do you remember that? I just remember this and that, so on and so forth. Like, what? You remember it? Yes. I mean, so, yeah, that's Pluto. Pluto retrograde. I keep trying to tell people. Pluto will come through and wreck house. You know, like, but it's it's actually restoring balance to Mother Earth. That's what it's doing. So, um, yeah, be grateful for it, you know, and sources right there to help us, you know, Put it all together. You think stuff is falling apart? So it's like, no, nah, everything is coming together the way it should be because that's what somebody's prayers was. Somebody says, hey, I want to be a part of a divine family, a truly a divine family where people come together and pour into each other in divine ways. Everybody wants to see everybody grow. There's no scarcity crab in a bucket mentality. Like if it was new people adding to the family, I want to say, hey, new to the family. Hey, welcome to the family. You know, whether it's church family, mosque family, temple family, whether it's, you know, this kind of family. Hey, I can help this person grow. I can pour into this person. Blood relative family. Let's pour into this. Let's help this person. Let's, somebody's been praying for that since the, this person sitting in front of the vault door. That's what's coming your way. That's why things are about to like really like like really expand for you. When I say um, God is expanding somebody's territory, that's an understatement. So get ready, just get ready. That's what I have for you all, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me, um, and I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.